Hello and thanks for watching the last video of uh, Palo Alto video training series. Uh, in this last video, I just want to uh, show you the uh, application command center RACC section and the dashboard. Uh, uh, we don't really have uh, too much traffic on the, on the uh, demo environment that uh, we've been working on, so, so we don't really have much reporting to, to, to show you on. Uh, application command center, but I have uh, connected to one of the actual production firewalls that I have, so I can I can show you uh, the specific bits and pieces and, and uh, information that you can see in there. Um, so you know, there are different sections in the firewall that you can you can see obviously on the dashboard. There are some general information about the firewall system resources, locked in admins, uh, data logs, and all those kind of things. So these widgets can be uh, added or removed. So you could just add another widget for uh, top applications, for example, if you want to see that uh, just added another widget for top application, or you could uh, basically remove these widgets by clicking on on uh, the icon. Uh, closing icon on the top so you have a bit of a flexibility to play around with these widgets and, and uh, make it uh, basically the kind of look that you want <coughs> and you could uh, change the refresh rate from one minute two minutes five minutes or make it manual so you have the, the flexibility to do that as well um, Apart from uh, the dashboard, we have a tab for Application Command Center, or ACC, which is a very high-level, uh, nice view of uh, how the traffic looks like on our firewall. So you can see uh, in the Application Command Center, um, these are basically the top applications that you can see DNS web browsing, SSL, blah, blah, blah. so it'll give us <clears throat> basically the risk rating on each application as well, which is based on the number of threads and things that's been detected, uh, a number of blocks and all those kind of things that's been detected for that particular application. Um, it gives you the traffic and, and things like that. So you could change that to, you know, high-risk applications, categories, subcategories, technology risk. So you could just change it to high-risk application and get a different view uh, if you want to or, or leave it as just applications, get the view that you want. So these are uh, um, names are mainly like uh, hyperlinks. You can click on it and get more granular, detailed information about uh, uh, what it is and how it works. And, and uh, you know, there is some useful information about the service, the DNS service, for example, how it works, what it is. Uh, go to Wikipedia. And other things if you want to do some research about one application, specific application. Um, and you can see obviously the source IP addresses, top source, top destination, and very, very useful information in terms of troubleshooting and understanding the pattern of the traffic in the network. They'll give you a lot of nice, uh, um, you know, reports, top sources, can countries, destination countries. So you can understand uh, basically the pattern of DNS traffic exactly on your network and uh, who is doing what and who is accessing your DNS servers from which countries uh, most and, and all those kind of details, you know, it can give you very, very nice, nice detailed reports. Um, there are other, uh, obviously, sections to go to. ACC again, there are other sections as well, like URL filtering, for example. So you can see that the computer and internet info is, is pretty much the highest category in the range. We have 48.8 gig of traffic on that particular category, web advertisement, content delivery, blah, blah, blah. So, so you can, you can uh, basically click again on any of these links and get more granular details about uh, specific categories and specific details. So you can see that uh, uh, Trend Micro has been uh, the top best, and I assume that's because the antivirus has been trying to update, and, and that's obviously causing these to be one 
top of the list SSL web browsing blah, blah. so so that that also gives us uh, some nice granular uh, report or the users and uh, uh, destinations and you know countries and all those kind of details that would be nice United States for example is, is uh, one of the top destination countries and so on so again lots of nice reports that you could uh, use it and it's useful uh, threads um, so obviously an important one so you could just uh, uh, if, you, if you see any critical thread in there you could just click on the name and, and get more information about the thread and where it's coming from and who is doing what so you could uh, find out that IP address is doing uh, some scanning on the network which you really should find out who he is and, and why they're doing scanning on the network uh, which is uh, obviously uh, important um, data filtering obviously so if uh, we are filtering something uh, it'll tell you what is being filtered and why so for example we just click on the zip category so you can see that uh, what has been obviously the data zip data communication between uh, what sources and what destinations so that will give you some understanding about obviously the pattern of the files which are available on, on your network as well um, back to ACC again so yeah so there are there are a number of obviously uh, nice features and reporting available for you guys to obviously review the application command center is, is uh, really a cool feature about all the bubbles that you can just uh, uh, click on any link and get get uh, a lot of information in one page very simple very basic and uh, easily and uh, understand obviously the operation of, of your firewall and understand the operation of your network and, and obviously do a risk analysis so um, yeah so basically um, that's uh, the uh, end of our training um, we have talked about obviously different tabs and different methods and uh, how we create a test lab in Palo Alto and how to uh, create reporting and monitoring and what the dashboard is um, I really hope that you've enjoyed this uh, video series and uh, um, I um, am available obviously um, for, for um, any question or any concern that you guys might have feel free to uh, ping me um, send me an email or, or contact me in any way on LinkedIn or uh, whatever you like um, I would be more than happy to, to, to help and uh, I really appreciate that uh, you have taken some time to, to watch this video and I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot and uh, I appreciate it again.